Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bvom.com and I know I don't look like him but believe me it is me. And these are the Realme Buds Air and I know these look like Apple AirPods but believe me these are the real me. Anyway, these AirPods clones pack in a lot of features for I think one third of the price. So what do they actually bring? Well, we'll talk about that but before we get started, I'd suggest you to hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let's talk about the Realme Buds Air. So let's start by talking about the most unique thing in the Realme Buds Air, the design. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. But yeah, let's start by talking about the AirPods resemblance. And make no mistake, the Realme Buds Air looks strikingly similar, scratch that, exactly the same as the AirPods. It's got the similar looking stem design and the overall look. It's got the same charging case that says, <clears throat> designed by Realme. Heck, even the sensors are aligned exactly the same as in the AirPods. Yeah, there are some differences like the fact that the chrome ring, if that's even a chrome ring, is a little different looking. The build quality is obviously nowhere close to as good as the AirPods. But considering the huge price difference, I'm not complaining. Overall, these look like AirPods clothes, no doubts about that. I mean, I'm pretty sure that anyone who sees these new white Realme Buds Air will think these are the AirPods. There are also the black and yellow variants if you ever wanted yellow or black AirPods. Anyway, the AirPods resemblance aside, what features do the Realme Buds Air bring? Well, quite a lot of them. First up, the Realme Buds Air come with the R1 chip with Bluetooth 5.0, similar to the H1 chip in AirPods. Yeah, they even named the chip similarly. Well, the R1 chip is said to bring low latency and more stable connection. In fact, there's even a gaming mode that's set to reduce latency by more than 50%. Well, I only played a couple of games of PUBG Mobile with the Buds Air on and I think the latency was pretty low but nothing extraordinary. So yeah, so far things seem positive but I will be testing things out extensively in the coming days. As for the stable connection, well, pairing the Realme Buds Air is a little bit of pain. You first have to open the case, press this button for a few seconds, wait for the earbuds to pair with each other and then open Bluetooth settings on your phone to finally pair them. So it's a little bit of work, but I think for the price, we can let that slide. Anyway, once you pair the earphones, the connection remains pretty stable and they even connect quickly when you just open up the case. Coming back to the features, there are also touch controls here, which do take some time getting used. You can double tap to play or pause, answer calls, long press to launch the assistant, and long press on both sides to activate the gaming mode, which I talked about. By the way, there is no Hey Google support, so you'll have to use these touch controls. Now, apart from the touch controls, the Realme Buds Air have wear detection. So the music pauses when you take the earphones out of your ear and automatically plays when you put them back in. Yeah, it's nice. They're dual mics and ENC for calls and I made a few calls with these earbuds and the quality wasn't as good as I expected it to be. Maybe it was because of ENC but the voice from these earphones was always a little muffled and I tested this out with multiple phones and the issue was quite persistent. I mean, you can talk with these earphones, but yeah, you might annoy the other person on the call. Now coming to the sound quality of the Realme Buds Air, this is one area where the Realme Buds Air are actually really good. There's AC support, which is great, and there's dynamic bass boost driver, and the bass on these things is pretty good. And it's not just bass, the Realme Buds Air get pretty loud, there's no distortion at max volumes, the highs are great, and the bass, like I said, is pretty good. In fact, if you ask me, I think the sound quality of the Realme Buds Air come very close to what you get with the AirPods, with the bass definitely being better, and that is great. Now, how do they compare against other truly wireless earbuds under 5K? Well, that's a question we'll answer in a separate video soon, so stay tuned. Moving on to the comfort and fit, these are the most well-fitting earbuds, since they are made out of plastic, and the experience, I think, is very much like the AirPods. See, if they fit your ears like they fit comfortably on Akshay and Devinder's ears, both of whom also love AirPods, you will be pretty happy with these. However, if you're like me and these earbuds don't fit in perfectly for you, they can be pretty uncomfortable as well. So what I'd suggest you to do is just try out the Realme Buds Air before you go ahead and buy them. But how exactly are you going to do that? Well, here's what you need to do. Just head to a nearest Apple reseller, try out the Apple AirPods, and if they fit well, just go ahead and buy the Realme Buds Air. And if they don't fit well, wait for the Realme Buds Air Pro. Well, time now for the customary head banging test by none other than Akshay. <laughs> Lastly, there's the battery. The Realme Buds Air are set to last three hours on a single charge. 
and they can go up to 17 hours with the included case. Now in my usage, the Realme Buds A easily lasted three hours and sometimes they even lasted longer, which is great. Plus the case here is a wireless charging case, which I think is pretty amazing at this price. You can charge it with the new 10 watt wireless charger from Realme or any other Qi wireless charger. I mean the AirPods with a wireless charging case cost around 20,000 rupees, so this is really good. Now, if you don't use wireless chargers, you can charge this case over USB-C, so yeah, there's that. Well, that's pretty much everything about the new Realme Buds Air and at rupees 3999, these are some really feature-packed, truly wireless earbuds. Yes, they look almost identical to the AirPods, but I'm sure some people might find that attractive. And they bring features like wear detection, touch controls, a gaming mode for low latency, and a wireless charging case with USB-C, which is awesome. I mean, they're not perfect. Nobody in our office has gotten used to the touch controls and the voice quality on calls is, yeah, a little average. But if you look at the price, the Realme Buds Air are pure value for money. But like I said, we will be comparing the Realme Buds Air versus the competition to get a better idea if you should buy this or not. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Well, I quite like these AirPods. Uh, I mean, the Realme Buds Air. Yeah, the joke never gets old. Anyway, what do you think of these? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, if you have any questions on the Realme Buds Air, ask away and we'll answer them in our next video. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.